Hey guys, welcome back to the high tech software solutions channel. This is Afizullah Masudi and today we're gonna work on how to delete our files. As you guys know, in the last video we worked on how to update our files. Uh, now we want uh, to be able to delete our files from the database. So let's start. We need an in, uh, a link for our delete in here in our actions so for that we have to go for to our index page which is located in resources views and index plate at the bottom we have to declare a td and a link the href should be route and we should name our route delete and we also want to password id by saying file arrow id and the value should be delete save it now let's create our routes in our routes folder at the bottom we can say route column column now we want to get and it should be files slash delete slash we want our id comma we want it to go to file controller and the method should be delete and we should also declare a name for our route which should be also delete terminate it and save it okay now let's go to our controller and create our method our file controller and at the bottom we can say public function delete on our ID okay now first of all we have to grab grab the uh, specific file from the database through our ID and we can do that by saying file equals to file model column column find what our ID semicolon okay now before we delete our file permanently from the database we also want it want to delete it from the uh, files folder which is located in our public directory and for that we can say file name file name is file arrow file and now we want our file path which equals to public path Publics folder, our files folder, and that's all. Now we want to unlink. Unlink our public uh, path. First of all, we need to declare our public path, which is file path. And after that, the file name that we want to delete, which is file name. Semicolon terminated. And now we want to delete our file from the database. And for that, we can see file arrow delete and after deleting our file we want to return our redirection we can we can say return redirect and our route and the route should be index delete semicolon terminated okay that's all for the delete now let's go and try our code let's refresh as you can see it marks as the id and if we want to delete this file one, if we click on it, it gives error. Let's go back to our code. Let's erase it. And let's concatenate our file name in here. File name. Save it. Now let's go and try again. Refresh. Now if we delete this, as you can see, it has been deleted permanently. Now let's check our public folder. As you can see, we have only one file left. And let's also check our database, which is localhost php my admin. Let's go to our files table. As you can see, we have only left one file so guys this was the easiest way how to delete 
a file from the database and also from the folder in our Publix folder. So I hope you enjoyed the, watching the video and uh, guys uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon for more uh, uh, videos like this and um, up a more update in Laravel framework. And uh, for now, bye guys.